so I uh, just picked the bike and uh, off I'm going you know it feels fantastic uh, everything is new just that it's uh, super smooth uh, it, it's it's a difference it's it's really a difference hello I'm Nikolai welcome to Spoke Wanderer let's roll So hello and welcome back. Now you see me rather casual today. Now, uh, as you may know, I'm uh, back in Bucharest at the moment, and uh, I'm here at the Ducati Service Center picking my uh, bike. And uh, let's go inside and see. So now I just uh, arrived in the workshop. There's the baby, and. Uh, Julian, uh, the trusted mechanic, he was so kind uh, to keep the parts uh, which are changed in uh, the Desmo service, which is these two valves, the air filter, uh, I mean certainly the spark plugs, uh, 32,500 kilometers, and here you have some uh, uh, parts from the brake. Okay, now I spoke with Julian and he explained me a bit, that's uh, the trusted mechanic, uh, Julian. Yeah. Uh, and uh, he's doing uh, now for Monster, not for uh, Diavel, no? X, X. Hmm? X Diavel. X Diavel. So here you see all the parts. So it's uh, also the big service uh, for it. And uh, yeah, you can see that's uh, a lot of work to be done. Now I uh, got also some information from uh, him. Now, um, when we talk about uh, valve adjustment, uh, when he measured uh, for the decimal service, uh, mine was uh, 0 0.1 uh, to 0 0.25 millimeters uh, in valve opening, and uh, uh, 0 0.1. 0 0.20. No. So um, I wrote it a bit down so that I uh, do remember. No. Uh, mine with closed valve uh, was in 0 0.1 uh, to 0 0.2 uh, millimeters and in the factory setting it should be 0 0.05 to 0 0.1 so this one was adjusted so uh, open uh, valves as per factory when the bike is basically new uh, in open is uh, between 0 0.13 and 0 0.18 millimeters and uh, closed valves should be 0 0.05 to 0.1 so as soon as it exceeds it's not uh, ideal anymore and has to be adjusted so that's why you have to do this decimal service and as you see in the pictures then later which I'm gonna explain um, uh, it's quite a bit of work uh, that's why it's about eight hours or so what I have to uh, do on it so these parts are in charge of uh, opening and closing the valves uh, together with, with this little uh, bit here um, now uh, they are similar on uh, a lot of uh, models uh, in the Ducati family. What is the difference when you see here? That's uh, the one of a Panigale. Uh, it looks totally different. Now you have also a number here, somewhere. Uh, I'm not sure if it, this comes over. Uh, this number tells you exactly uh, for which um, model it is, uh, which opening space it has to be. And uh, it's always uh, like uh, this combination. And as you can see, let's put it again together. Uh, Panigale Multistrada. So this is working uh, like this, basically. It, uh, it's assembled like that, right? In this position. Okay. And uh, as you see, uh, in the closed position, 0 0.05 to maximum 0 0.1 millimeter, I mean, it has to be super precise, you know, there you can see uh, in what dimensions we are talking, it's crazy. Now, this is in most models the same, um, but the inside dimension uh, varies from model to model. Uh, I mean, certainly the 950s, uh, the a standard, uh, and most likely also the S, correct, they have the same. When you go to the 1200, the inside dimension is different, and uh, is correct? Every dimension, yeah. dimension uh, it's, it's right here. It's written here. And uh, certainly the Panganigale, uh, being a race bike, uh, is totally different. Uh, part looks almost the same uh, from outside, 
but uh, what is different is I don't know if you can see it nicely here the inside dimension is uh, different it varies only minimal uh, but this is uh, for example where does you see ah, this is like uh, 3.35 so the opening is, is much bigger uh, than, for example, here. And uh, again, when you see the Panigale here, uh, the valve opening is much bigger, uh, much wider. Uh, well, much wider. It is wider, but, uh, well, it's a high-power engine with over 200 uh, brake horsepower. These are the two bells uh, that were changed. Now, uh, certainly over time, when you use them, uh, they stretch a bit and they don't fit as snug anymore. Am I correct? So, no. <laughs> they uh, stretch a bit and they're not uh, tight enough anymore. Correct? Yes. Yeah, so that's why they have to be changed. As well, when uh, they are changed, uh, the engine runs another 30,000 with uh, usually no problems. And uh, on the picture, you can see actually where they are placed. Um, I mean, you, you have to take everything uh, off, as you can see in the first picture. So the bike is completely stripped, so you can really gain access uh, to uh, the engine. New. This is new, and this is old. Ducati Garanti, just 30,000 kilometers, not okay. more. So only 30,000 kilometers are guaranteed. So and if it breaks, you may have an engine failure, and then it becomes you, really expensive. If you look them like good maybe it, but it's become very harder like too hard yeah, like plastic oh yeah when you touch them uh they are they are much more flexible um unfortunately i can't uh share with you the touch and feel but this uh, feels very soft and flexible this is dry and very this one uh, dries out and it's uh i mean you can see as well everything is gone the whole writing is gone and uh, when you see also from inside, uh, it looks also kind of used up. You see also the grooves uh, became a bit uh, wider uh, compared now uh, to this one, to the new one. So now uh, Ducati uh, guarantees on this part uh, only uh, 30,000 kilometer. Uh, well, certainly the bikes with the decimal service. There are some older bikes which have to have the service uh, by 24,000 kilometers, correct? So um, you better do it, better change it uh, and uh, get the things right. Because if these guys break, I think uh, then it becomes really expensive. Spark plugs, if you see spark plugs. Now, um, these are the ones which came original with the bike, uh, NGK. Uh, everyone knows this brand. Now, this is the one which is in the, on the front cylinder, and this is uh, the one which is on the up cylinder, certainly, uh, because front cylinder is uh, gets more uh, water spray and things like that. That's why they look like that. And uh, But no failure at all. Uh, basically, one is here in front, and one is uh, on top. Air filter. Uh, as you see in the picture which is coming now, new and old air filter. Now, as we know, it's not that easy to change the air filter because it's uh, right under the tank. So it's basically right under this location. Now, to take everything off and, uh, yeah, it's quite of a, a hassle, uh, I suppose. And, uh, yes, I was thinking, should I put a KNN, but for what um, this one lasted 30,000 kilometers, so it costs uh, less money and does the job as well. And uh, most likely, yeah, uh, the next 30,000 kilometers it will last as well. So, yeah, simple but good and efficient. So, brake pads uh, they are actually not part of the decimal service itself, they are part of the service seam. Uh, I mean, certainly when you open the engine, oil change, oil filter change, this is part of it. Uh, but if the brake pads are good, uh, then not. Now, uh, as you maybe can see, they have uh, still a little bit on, but they're extremely hard. Now, uh, this is a 2018 model. Uh, these are still the first brake pads which came with the bike, and they were changed after 32,500 kilometers. Now, when you see the new ones, all is clean and nice. I uh, hope you can see this nicely. Uh, let's get one of these here so maybe you can get an idea uh, new versus old uh, I hope you can see this nicely uh, the thickness of the old ones and the thickness of the new ones 
So it's, uh, yep. Yeah. Uh, they were definitely due for change. Here on the front, you can see it even more nice. Uh, very cool. Now, it's like a brand new bike. Everything is fixed, everything is polished. Uh, fantastic. I just love it. Not dependent on the best of service. Yeah, the so, so. Four coil, it's having different interval. Okay, so. Um, Brake uh, uh, pads, uh, as mentioned, they're not part of the Desmos service. Uh, they were changed because they had to be changed. Um, uh, also, the uh, brake uh, fluid uh, in front and back, uh, he checked and it was all okay. Um, so this was uh, changed after two years. Uh, the fork oil in the front uh, was also not touched because this was all okay and uh, done before. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, it's kind of a new bike, uh, like I got it in 2018, and I'm, I can't wait to, to ride. So now uh, let's go uh, through the pictures and I tell you a bit more about uh, the different things, what you see, and uh, we take it from there. So as you see, the bike has to be stripped uh, fully. So all fairing, seat, tank, everything off uh, to gain access uh, to all the parts which need to be checked, cylinder heads, etc. As mentioned earlier in the video, the new belts, there's such a difference uh, compared to the ones uh, which came with the bike at the beginning after 32,500 kilometers. Um, you can really, really feel the difference and certainly see the difference. To adjust the valves, Cylinder head and camshafts need to go. Here is a close-up uh, of one of the cylinders. Here you see the front cylinder with and without uh, the camshaft. That is the top cylinder with one of, uh, some of the valves. And here, uh, this is again the top cylinder. I think you can see nicely the valves. Air filter, new versus old. The dark one certainly 32,500 kilometers and here you see the air filter installed. Here you can see all the parts that have been changed uh, for the Desmo service. Certainly brake pads are not part of the Desmo service. Uh, it's only the belts, the valves and the air filter. So the valve adjustment is uh, actually the most important part of it. Here in this picture you see the new brake pads installed of one of the front brake calipers. So Julian just told me um, the front fork uh, oil has to be changed on the Multistrada and many other models at uh, 45,000 kilometers. So it's not for all uh, Ducati models uh, 45,000 kilometers. Some they have already after uh, either uh, 36,000 kilometers or maybe less, uh, some even more. But uh, the Multistradas uh, and some other models there at uh, 45,000 kilometers uh, to change the fork oil according to uh, Ducati specifications. Certainly. So now I just picked up the bike from the Desmo service. It feels like new. Uh, the trip uh, most likely you see in the videos uh, going east, uh, which is uh, 4,302.8 kilometers. So uh, it's uh, certainly a little bit less. Now uh, I'm again in Bucharest. I moved back work-wise uh, for work uh, to Romania. So I had the bike transported uh, to Romania uh, by I had the bike uh, transported back to Romania by uh, uh, a van together with all my uh, luggage and yeah so now can we make that wow, we can. very tight with these big handlebars and some cars it just doesn't really go over so mm. a bit risky what I'm doing. Anyway, we have to turn here. So uh, I picked it up from the Desmo service and uh, yeah, it's, uh, how should I say, it feels like new. 
and uh, uh, just uh, such a good feeling so as you seen on the pictures uh, they dismantled almost everything so okay they didn't uh, open the cylinder head and things like that uh, as far as I've seen but a lot of other things were done and it's just uh, absolutely uh, uh, stunning what uh, was done and it's 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 just uh, it's just amazing so let's see oh god i love the sound of this bike so This was adjusted, as you've seen in the video. Uh, the welds were changed. Uh, on top of that, uh, they made uh, the brake pads, which they uh, they changed. The first one, 32,000, uh, yeah, 32,500 kilometers. And uh, yes, they were at the limit, and they were not okay anymore. So I have to say they were they, they were gone. Um, now it's it's like if you go into brakes you have brakes i mean proper brakes <laughs> to cut the brakes uh brembos proper and uh, yeah so i once i'm home i'm gonna break down uh with you the invoice because most interesting part for you will be how much was the service uh, actually so now can uh, keep in mind this is Romania, this is not Germany, US or whatever, you know, so uh, you have here uh, some different fees which are coming and uh, they are not the same as uh, in Germany, for example. In Germany, I uh, met one, he has also a Multistrada and uh, they charge 119 euro, uh, 119 euro for uh, the, uh, for the mechanic per hour so that's quite a bit so so I'll be back with all the details for you so what was done uh, during the Desmo service at 32,500 kilometers engine oil and filter air filter spark plugs timing belt brake pads and front and rear valve adjustment certainly and i got a radiator guard installed the costs i made it in uh, ron euro and us dollar labor cost as you can see in euro it's 300 uh, euro and the total service cost uh, with all the extra work that i asked for as you can see it's actually not that bad it's bearable now um, leave me a comment down on what cost you had on your uh, Multistrada and, or a new Ducati for the Desmos service in your country. Hello. <laughs> so now what you also didn't see yet is um, uh, you remember uh, one second maybe you don't see it. You remember I installed from iconic parts uh, the oil cooler guard and now look at this i have also the radiator guard installed i think it looks gorgeous so you have still the silver down but in this part all black i think this is amazing so it's it's really beautiful i have to say let's see a bit further amazing it really fits super well done, uh, well done Iconic Parts. I think in this video you had a lot of information about the Desmo service on my Multistrada 950. Uh, yes, it would have been more nice if I could have been there in the workshop uh, during the service, but sometimes yeah, work uh, doesn't allow. Uh, plus the workshop where I was, uh, where I have been at this uh, point of time was like three hours drive one way away. And yeah. Uh, luckily, uh, thank you to Julian, uh, the, my trusted mechanic in Bucharest uh, at Ducati workshop uh, and the Ducati team uh, 
helped me with this video, uh, took some pictures, gave me information and uh, thank you for that. Absolutely amazing these Ducati guys uh, in uh, Bucharest, Romania. Uh, absolutely fantastic. And uh, yeah, uh, you might have seen in, in one of my other videos before uh, I moved again. Uh, well, first this year I moved from Romania to Germany, then from Germany back to Romania, then another opportunity popped up and uh, yeah, shortly before Christmas I was flying into uh, the Middle East, unfortunately uh, at the moment without my bike. Now I'm planning to bring my bike here uh, to the Middle East. Um, which way, which uh, company I'm using, I'm still about to figure out. Uh, most likely another two months without my uh, little baby, my Multistrada 950, but um, there's some rental, uh, um, motorcycle rentals here in the UE and maybe I can uh, test a couple of uh, bikes uh, in the meantime till my baby arrives. So please uh, leave me a comment down below, uh, give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and i see you back soon here on my channel. I'm Nikolai, you spoke wanderer. Ciao for now.